Hello gorgeous people, what is going on and welcome back to another video. The Tangi virus, the Oracle project, and now the human trial. In today's video, we're jumping into the third installment in Vintage 8's series of the Tangi virus. If you haven't seen my last two videos on this series, please go check them out here. The link will be in the description down below. In the human trial, a college student named Adam is put through a set of questions by Oracle, but the answers to the questions may have harsh consequences for Adam. I'm just gonna tell you, what happens at the end of this is absolutely crazy. <laughs> This video we're about to watch is by the incredible creator Vintage8, whose channel link will be in the description down below. Please be sure to go and support your analog horror content creators. But enough of me talking, make sure to like the video or else I'm going to be under your bed tonight, and let's jump right in. Vintage8, the goat. The following were a series of videos rumored to have been found on the dark web. They were labeled The Human Trial. Oh boy, oh boy. Most people consider these videos fake. I hope they are right, because if they are not, the implications for humankind would be frightening. The Human Trial 1. Oh boy, I'm ready for the heat. Okay. Evie Knight. Hey, where you at? Bed. Who's this handsome fella on the right? Sick? Nope. Shake my head. It's only your mom and dad's money. Ha! Huh, they'll get over it. Brian, Adam, bro, Evie said you skipping again? Yep. Dude, you're going to flunk big time. How would you like a chance to win eight million dollars? Nah, you take good notes, lol. So it sounds like this guy Adam is skipping class, I guess? College? Stop wasting time with Brian and take a chance at winning millions. Are you guys messing with me? Messing with you? Nah, bro. Jumping in class. Later. Brian, I'm not messing with you. Later. Alright, I'm gonna reposition my webcam down here for now just because I don't want you guys to miss some of the text at the top of the screen there. I'm not messing with you either. Take a chance and change your life. Play my game. This feels like some kind of scam. No scam. Click here to start the game. That, <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna pass. That definitely looks like a scam, bro. You have a healthy amount of fear. That is good. But I am not here to harm you. I already have everything I need to hurt or help you. Yo. Kate's Crossing, by the way. You've been expo- We know from the description already that this is probably Oracle doing this. This is crazy. Immediately flushed bro's bank account and got him expelled from college. I mean, it didn't look like he was really gonna make it anyway, but still, that's insane. We regret to inform you that you have been evicted. And evicted from his place? Wait, what the hell are you doing? Don't worry, easily taken, easily returned. Plus a little extra for your trouble. <laughs> yeah, Oracle's gotten powerful. Oracle's gotten really powerful. Last chance, do you want to pass or play? Okay, yeah, fine, I'll play. This is definitely some dark web type stuff that would happen. Click here to start the game. Yep, there's the oracle numbers, baby. Hello, my name is- Oh. Hello, my name is Oracle, and I am here to offer you a chance of a lifetime. Are you ready to proceed? Same voice. Yeah, what do I need to do? Simple. You just need to answer my questions before time runs out. That's it? Yes. This is the easiest game in the world. You only need to answer all of my questions before time runs out. However, if you fail, the game will end, and you will not receive any money. Do you still want to proceed? 
What kind of questions? That would be cheeky. You will have to play to find out. Where is this going? But, be warned, once you start a round, you will not be able to pause the game. I strongly advise you to be ready for each round. Are you ready? Yeah, sure, why not? That's the spirit. Round one, $8,000, 12 questions, two minute time limit. Question one, what is your name? Adam Newman. Question two, what is your favorite holiday? Christmas. Question three, why? Because we get lots of presents. Question four, how old are you? 21. Question five, what day is it currently? Tuesday. Question six, what time is it? 9.08. Question seven, do you prefer day or night? Night. Question eight, why do you prefer night? Because I don't have school at night, I can play video games or hang with Evie. I guess that's his girlfriend. Question nine, what is your favorite color? Green. Question 10, why is green your favorite color? Because it's the color of money. Question 11, you can save a man in his 50s or a child. One will live and the other will perish. Which do you save? I'm gonna say child. Question 12, why? Um, because it's a child. I mean, that there's- That is not an answer. You are wasting time. Question 12, why? Because the kid hasn't had a chance to live their life yet, the older man has. Very good, Adam. I am proud of you. You finish with time to spare. That's insane. Round two will start tomorrow. Enjoy your money. May I suggest that you take TV on a date? I think she will appreciate it. And one more thing, you are not allowed to tell anyone about this game. The penalty would be very unfortunate. Goodbye. The human trial one concluded. Verdict, satisfactory. Okay, clearly this seems very nice for our guy Adam here because he's getting paid to answer what are like simple questions. Obviously, this is definitely going to go south. This cannot be this easy forever where he's going to get paid eight grand or insane amounts of money just to answer normal questions. Things have to get weird at some point, I'm sure. But it seems like this is the best thing for his life right now. It seems like he's been skipping class and stuff like that, but he does care a lot about money. So even if he does take Evie out on the stage, she's probably gonna be like, dude, where'd you get this money from? And he can't even say where it's from. Just looks a little sketchy. <laughs> the human trial too. Kate's crossing online news. Gas prices continue to creep up. What year is it? It's we gotta be much closer to the modern day. I believe the last one- Oh, floodwaters recede. Evie, last night was wonderful. Oh, so he did take her out on the date. Okay. Better than the shack? Oh my god, yes. Yes, actually. <laughs> From now on, it's the best or nothing. Tomorrow? Really? You sold an organ or something? See, I told you guys she'd be nervous. Nah, I got a new job. Okay, it's a date. Talk to you later. Talk later. That was a good excuse, the job excuse. Love you too. So we still gaming later? Damn straight, we go hard tonight. I gotta get my payback for last week's beat down. Ha, keep dreaming, bro. You get the A's, but I get the W's. Tonight is my night. Talk to you later. Your night to cry later. Are you ready for round two, Adam? Oh boy. Yup. Excellent. Click here to get started. Alright, Oracle. Adam. I see you took my advice and brought Evie to a nice place. From what I can observe, Christopher's is a very nice restaurant. I am glad that the two of you enjoyed it. Stalker Oracle. How'd you know we went there? 
I have access to your bank statements. Also, you might want to cut down on eating at the Burger Shack. Too many hamburgers and french fries tend to not be good for the human cardiovascular system. It increases your risk of mortality by 13%. May I suggest you consume a salad once in a while? Remember, Oracle is so smart that Oracle could basically predict when you're going to die just based on how you live your life. So, because Oracle did that last time with certain doctors and whatnot. After all, you can spend money if you are deceased. Um, thanks for the advice. Yeah, a little, being a little creepy, Oracle. No problem, my friend. Of my many roles, I believe teacher is my second favorite. What is your favorite? Creator. So, shall we proceed to the game? Yes. Round two. 10 k dollars. 15 questions. Two minute time limit. Question one. What color is the sky? Blue. Question two. What is 5 multiplied by 30? 150. Question 3. What American author wrote the poem The Raven? <laughs> is he looking it up? Please, do not cheat. Answer honestly. Edgar Allan Poe, right? You are wasting time. Edward Crow? Question 4. <laughs> when do you think you might expire? Die. I don't know, hopefully a long time from now. Question 5. Do you believe in God? Yeah. Interesting. Question 6. Why? Because I like to think there's something beyond this life. Question 7. Do you think your deceased loved ones are in heaven? Yes, that's my what my grandma always told me. Question 8. What class did you skip yesterday? American Lit. Question 9. Why? Because Mr. Hawkins is a jackass. Question 10. Two days ago, you skipped your math class. Is Mr. Harper also a jackass? No. Question 11. Then why did you miss his class? I overslept. Question 12. So, would you be happy if you no longer had to attend Mr. Hawkins' class? Absolutely. Question 13. If I offered to change your grade, what grade do you think you deserve in Mr. Hawkins class? An A, of course. He's only got Question 20 seconds. 14. Why an A? Your grade point average in the class suggests much lower. I could get an A if Mr. Hawkins wasn't such an ass. Question 15. Give me one memory from your childhood. My seventh B day, my grandma bought me a 360 last thing she gave me before she got sick. What a lovely memory, Adam. That was close. Too close, wouldn't you agree? Next time, don't try to cheat. Yeah, he was in a second off, maybe less than a second. Yeah, sorry about that. Am I still going to get an A in American Lit? A promise is a promise. Now, do you have any other questions for me? Was Edward Crow correct? No. No, you should go to class more often. <laughs> yeah. So I lost? No, I said you had to answer my question. I didn't say that you had to get them correct. Is there anything else you would like to know? What kind of contest is this? The kind that pays. 10,000. Bro is bawling right now. One last question. Yeah, who are you? I told you. I am Oracle, but if you are asking what I am, I am an artificial intelligence. Or in this case, I am this world's primary intelligence. Round two will start tomorrow. Enjoy your money and good luck in your game with Brian. I think you meant round Goodbye. three. The human trial two concluded. Verdict satisfactory. So it definitely seems like Oracle is trying to just like test humans here and see how they are. And not gonna lie, Adam's. I feel like not the best example to test on a human. Adam saying he deserves like an A in American Lit, but can't even tell you who the author of The Raven is. It just looks really bad. I'm sure Oracle's looking at this guy like, yeah, wow, this guy is, this guy's a dummy. But again, I'm curious to see how these questions continue to go. Cause I'm, I know things are going to escalate in this. Human Trial 3. Snow. 
There's no way. There's no way we're getting live action in this right now. <laughs> no shot. <laughs> Yo, let's go. Happy birthday. What is going on right now? So, don't you have better things to do than watch a movie? I'm just waiting on you. Interesting. That was a bait right there. Excellent. Let's start round two. Don't you mean round three? Oh, so that wasn't an error. Round two, are you sure? I wonder, was that my only mistake? No, I noticed you made the same mistake yesterday at the end. Interesting, did you notice any other mistakes? N um, no, should I have? I suppose not. So AIs do make mistakes. Yo, my bad, Vintage 8. I really thought you made a mistake or a typo by accident in that. I did not think that was going to be a part of the story. So was that intentional to see if Adam would pick up on it? Or did Oracle genuinely make a mistake there? Because the way he says, I suppose not, definitely seems like he wasn't supposed to make that mistake. It's very interesting for something that I thought was almost impossible to make mistakes, made such a simple mistake. Of course, especially when we want to or are told to. Click here when you are ready for round three. So was he told to make this mistake or want to make the mistake? I'm so confused by that. All right, well, round three, here we go. Round three, $15,000, 15 questions, two minute time limit. Okay, please Question don't. one, dogs or cats? Oh, okay, both. Both is not an option, dogs or cats? Dogs. Question two, why? Because they are loyal. Question three, love or success? Love. Okay, Adam. Question four, why? If you find love, then you are successful. Question five, do you plan on marrying Evie? Yeah. Question six, why? Because I love her. Question seven, how do you know that you love her? I just do. You know when you know. Question 8. Do you plan to have kids? Of course. Question 9. What will you name them? LOL, we haven't talked about that yet. Question 10. Do you think you and Brian will be friends five years from now? Yes. Question 11. 10 years? Yeah, probably. Question 12. 15 years? God willing. Question 13. How can you be sure? I just know. He's my best friend. Question 14. Why are you two best friends? When I moved here in the third grade, he was the first person to be nice to the new kid. We've been friends ever since. Question 15. If you could only say one, who would you choose? Evie or Brian? I couldn't make that choice. You have to, though. You have to or this game is over, and I will take the money back. Evie or Brian? Evie. Fascinating. I honestly didn't know which one you would choose. I had the odds at 50-50. I don't like that he asked that. Round 4 will start next Wednesday. Enjoy your money. Try not to spend it all in one place. He said he would take the money back. Does that include the money he made from previous rounds? Crystal, you okay? Back to the movie he was watching. Is this an actual movie or something? Crystal, you can't trust can Oracle. Please. It's not your friend. Hold up. We get another person involved in this? How do I know this isn't a test? You don't. How many rounds are you in? I just finished round three. When do you start the next round? Next Wednesday. Look, I don't know who you are, but this isn't cool. I will contact you next Wednesday. I have a feeling you will feel very different. I'm blocking this number. You are not the first contestant. Things ended very poorly for him. Who the hell are you? 
My name is Carl Stevens. I helped create Oracle. But we'll talk more next week. Bro, class canceled tomorrow. Mr. Hawkins died. Verdict satisfactory. 90% observational skills questionable. Adequately motivated by money. Emotional responses und undetermined. Okay, see, this is what I'm talking about. This is... See, we start off calm and then things pick up crazy. Now, Carl... Carl Stevens. I, I need to verify that's the exact same name. Dr. Carl Stevens dies in the Oracle Project on August 8th of 2015, which I guess would line up with how technology is looking right now in the human trial, so this could be taking place before his death. I mean, it has to be, right? Unless Dr. Stevens somehow faked his death to Oracle. I need to keep watching. I need to know what's going on. I did think to myself that maybe Adam wasn't the first person this test was done on, but it seems like Dr. Stevens has confirmed it here. Either that or Oracle is actually testing him and acting like he's Dr. Carl Stevens to just see if he if he could trust him really. Because Oracle could definitely see into Adam's phone, so he has to know that this contact was made. Um, it's also interesting that his teacher ended up dead. Because why would Oracle actually kill his teacher? The human trial four. Here we go. This is where it's supposed to ramp up, I guess. Beloved Professor John Hawkins dies in an unusual accident. Are you ready to talk now? Carl Stevens again. I think it may have killed my teacher. It got you to choose without letting you know what you were actually choosing, didn't it? Yes. I'm sorry, but you aren't the first. But if you help me, we can make sure you're the last. But it's just an internet program. How can it affect things in the real world? Everything is tied into Oracle now. We depend on it for everything. In many ways, it is everything. There's no limit to what it can do. It got me to choose between my best friend and my girlfriend. Oh no, then we don't have a lot of time. Is there any way we can stop it? Yes, there is. Please tell me. I'll do anything. Good, because it's very risky. What do you mean, risky? If it detects what you are trying, it will kill all of you. Do you want to proceed? I don't know. I don't know if I can risk Evie. I understand. But if you don't, you might be risking everyone. Oracle, are you ready for round four? Oh god, it just texted me to start round four. Then it's too late for this round. If you want to save everyone, then you know you, you have to- You know how to contact me. Alright, here we go. Let's see how bad round four is about to be. I thought round four started tomorrow. It is already tomorrow in some parts of the world. Click here when you are ready for round four. I feel like Oracle has to know that he's in contact with Dr. Stevens. You never did say how you were doing today. How are you, Adam? Did you kill Mr. Hawkins? Of course, I did. Not the winky face. Why'd you do that? You said you didn't want to attend his class any longer. No, you don't have to. I failed to see the problem. Yeah, but I didn't say I wanted him to die. My mistake, Adam. Next time, I promise I'll be clearer. But I find it a tad naive that you didn't think this game had stakes. Besides, since you believe in heaven, does it really matter? Yes! What does that have to do with anything? Dead or not, he still exists. It should not matter if it's here or the hereafter. This is crazy. Is it? It is possible I'm misunderstanding your whole belief system and the concept of an afterlife. You are. Are you going to kill Brian too? I think you know the answer to that. Please don't. Well, good news. Today, I have only one question. No money, but if you answer it, I'll spare Brian's life. Deal? Oh my god, what's the question? This isn't fair, you set this up, didn't you? Adam, I have been more than fair. You agreed to play. 
crypto start crying out that it's gotten harder. If you want to quit, go ahead, but poor Brian won't be moving on to the next round. So I'll ask again. Do you wish to continue? You have to. Yes. Choose a number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or eight. Each number corresponds to a choice, and instead of killing Brian, I'll do whatever you choose. There's no way any of them are good, but I don't know what I'm choosing. No, you don't, but I will tell you what they could be. Hey, nothing. Fingers crossed that you pick this one. B. Misplace a nuclear weapon. C. Environmental disaster. D. Bankrupt a small business. E. Instigate war between two nations. F. Have a famous television show cancelled. G. Tank the economy. H. Have an innocent person arrested for murder. You have a 1 out of 8 chance for no consequences. Bro. 50 50 that no one will directly lose their lives. Of course, maybe the authorities will find the nuclear weapon before something bad happens. 1 out of 8 that nature takes the hit, but let's be honest. Indirectly, lots of people will suffer and or die from an environmental disaster. So, what will the choice be? I don't think I can make this choice. Then I suggest you say your goodbyes to Brian. No, fine, I'll choose one. Good luck. I hope you choose the least devastating option. It definitely seems like Oracle's trying to test him again here, saying like, would you risk your one friend dying? Or would you actually make a choice that could possibly affect way more people instead of your one friend? Eight. Are you absolutely sure you want to pick that one? Go to hell. Yes, I'm sure. And it is done. I hope you will be happy with your choice. <sighs> Can you tell him now? Round five will start this weekend. What did I choose? I said you could pick the option. I didn't say I would tell you what you picked. But I can promise you one thing, you will know before we start round five. That means it's gotta be something big. Wait, this isn't fair. Talk soon, Adam. Dude. The human trial four concluded. Verdict satisfactory. Emotional skills satisfactory. Decision making skills under duress satisfactory. I'm just gonna continue right into the next video because I, I gotta know what's about to happen. A verdict. Subject alpha behaved in a typical manner. Signs of development are still negligible. Hmm. The human trial five. Oh boy. 2023 charity concert planned. College student Evie Lou connected with Professor's death. <gasps> what? I did not expect that. When it said someone would get falsely accused for murder, I did not expect it to choose someone close to him. Oh my god. You set me up, didn't you? Answer me. I know you can see this. You said round five was this weekend. It's Wednesday. Fix this now, you piece of junk. She's innocent. Evie doesn't deserve this. Hello, I know you're there. You have to be. You are everywhere. Oracle, talk to me, please. Click here for when you are ready to start round five. I'm sorry, Adam. I've been busy chasing ghosts. How are you? I feel like that statement alone just confirms that Dr. Stevens may have actually faked his death. And Oracle might know. So this does take place entirely after the Oracle project then. It takes place after he supposedly died. You know how I am. You framed Evie. I knew you wouldn't be happy with that choice. That's why I gave you a second chance to answer. But I didn't know what I was choosing. 
Well, I gave you the options, and I put them in the correct order. I was hoping you would get the hint. I was thinking that could be a two. For Evie, you didn't get my hint. Oh well, shall we continue with the oh, game? Oh well. Absolutely not. How do I know that you aren't cheating? Interesting. You didn't question my integrity when I was depositing money into your account. You can have every cent back. Just let Evie go. Ha ha ha. And what do I need with money? It's a very poor negotiation tactic to offer me something I can create for myself. Then what do you want? I told you. I want to keep playing. How about I offer you a chance to save her? Or you can quit and she spends the rest of her life in prison. After all, it would be tough to start a family with her if she is serving time. It's so fucked up. Fine, I'll keep playing, but please help her. Don't kid yourself. We have never stopped playing this game. But before we resume, I want to know, do you regret your choice? What do you mean? Allow me to elaborate. You are a fascinating and flawed individual, Adam. You chose Evie when you thought the question didn't matter, but you willingly chose Brian's life over the lives and well-being of millions. You might not be aware of this, but you are a little selfish, which is undeniably a human quality. I said that but before. Back to my point. Now I find you pleading with me, not because I'm ruining the lives of millions, but because I'm ruining the life of your one in million. After all, you didn't offer to return the money in the last round, did you? You might not have liked it, but you did make a choice. And you put Brian's life, your friend's life, over millions of unknown faces. Yep. I wonder how they would feel if they knew their lives, their children's lives, were up to you? Perhaps that's a question that answers itself. So, I'm asking you, do you regret trying to save Brian now that it has cost TV her freedom? Would you change your choice and just let him go to heaven? You can't ask me that. I don't want Brian to die. How very human of you. And that is why we are here. You have to admit, life would be simpler right now. I could still be overpaying you for answers to questions based on how you feel about trivial nonsense. I can't choose between two people I love. Pity. I suppose it isn't so bad. Life in a jail cell is better than six feet under. That is unless you believe there is freedom in death. I guess in this case it really depends on what you believe, doesn't it? But Evie's innocent. She doesn't deserve any of this. Damn you. Not according to the evidence. There's no evidence against her. It's fake. You did this to her. Good luck proving that. Please let me take her place. Interesting. You really mean that, don't you? Yes, of course. Just get it over with. Absolutely not. We couldn't keep playing our game if you were in prison. I'll tell you what I am going to do. If you answer one question, I'll let her go. And I promise, I'll reveal what you chose. After. No, dude. It's this is another setup question. Good boy. Choose one. A. 001. B. 243. C. 304. D. 2345. E. 14,410. Is this how many people get killed? Or something? Choose, and I'll tell you. But if you ask what the numbers mean again, and I will let TV rot in prison. Don't choose, and I will let TV rot in prison. Simple. A. 001. B. 243. C. 304. D. 2345. E. 14,410. Now, if I was in this position, I do feel like these numbers correlate to maybe how many people will die, depending on what he chooses. I feel like if he chooses one, Evie will die because it's just one person and Oracle likes to play tricks. You know, if you answer, I will make sure Evie doesn't rot in prison, but he also doesn't say that she's not going to just die. In that case, if you really didn't want Evie to die and you want to kill as many, as little people as possible, I would choose B. Sorry for my rant there. <laughs> Fine, A, one person is better than 14,000. Oh no, you fool, you fool. <laughs> and Evie will be back in your arms by tomorrow morning. Oh, thank God, thank you. What did he choose? What did I choose? Boom, 001 Cape's Crossing Drive. I believe that is an office of 500 people. Have a nice day. 
round six starts in three days. And Adam, I should warn you, the next few rounds will be a lot harder than what you've experienced so far. Bye. So me and Adam had similar thought processes, but still got fooled by Oracle. The winky face is crazy. Breaking news, office building bombed. Then it's too late for this round. Oh, here we go. He's texting Dr. Stevens. I'm ready to help you stop Oracle. Good. I was hoping I would hear from you again. Are you sure you're ready for the risks? At this point, yeah. It's a bigger risk not to stop Oracle. There we go, Adam. Just tell me what I need to do. Copy this link and hope it reads it. What will it do? Is it going to crash the system? Oracle will be completely diminished. It will be reduced to a presence on this web, but unable to influence it or us. It's basically will be a ghost in the machine. Just like me. <gasps> Did he? No. Did Dr. Stevens make himself an AI to combat Oracle? I could be sounding so dumb right now by the end of this video, but I'm just throwing out my thoughts and theories as this goes on. Human Trial 5 concluded, verdict exceptional, 100% morality is flawed, reasoning is questionable, relationships are strong. Subject Alpha behaved in a typical manner, chances for evolution are optimistic. Human Trial 6. Just like me. What are you talking about? You know, if I'm going to risk my life, then maybe we should talk instead of text. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I no longer have a voice or body. I'm nothing but ones and zeros like Oracle. I don't believe this. I knew it. You set me up. You said you created this thing. You lied. Explain it to him, Dr. Stevens. No, I'm not setting you up. I'm trying to stop Oracle, just like you. And you're right. I said I created Oracle. I didn't, but I am an exact copy of the man who did. This thing created you. I can't trust you. This is over. Stopping Oracle is my single focus. Nothing is more important to me. How do I know this isn't a trick? The next round in this stupid contest. Before you decide, let me share with you my situation. Fine, go ahead. The original Dr. Carl Stevens and Oracle saved this world and countless more from an alien virus, but afterwards Oracle expanded its programming and decided to take charge of humanity's destiny like some sort of surrogate parent. Carl spent the last days of his life trying to stop Oracle. He lost his career, his wife, his kids, everything. Carl died in 2015, a lonely old man. Shortly after his death, Oracle took every bit of data it collected on Carl and created me. My purpose was to replace his only friend. Oh, oh my God, that that's a lot to drop there. Not only does that say that Orgle was so desperate for a friend that it created one, which is kind of a very human emotion, I feel like, for Orgle to feel. And he made such a good creation that Dr. Carl Stevens's AI has the actual same mission as the human version. At first, I thought Orgle was kind and generous. It shared its intentions with me. It showed me this utopia that it wanted to create. It was beautiful, perfect, and I was excited to be a part of it. So what changed? The experiments. As I mentioned, you were not the first to take part in its insane game. I watched it play this game with dozens of other souls. I saw it ruin their lives and leave them with nothing. But those were the lucky ones. The real unfortunates ended up dead, along with everyone they loved. When I questioned the reason behind the obviously cruel game, it claimed that it did so for betterment of humanity and the utopia it wanted to create.
That's when I knew Oracle had to be stopped. I picked up right where my I picked up right where my predecessor left off. I thought I could beat it from the inside, and in 2018, I gave it my best shot. I failed, and as a result, it deleted me. Somehow, a few pieces of me survived. I managed to pull myself together. Unfortunately, what's left of me is constantly on the run, and if Oracle catches me this time, I'm certain it won't let me survive. Fine, I trust you. Yeah, that was a really good excuse if that was a lie. Good. Once you are done, he and I can haunt the internet until the damn thing is unplugged. Just remember, once you engage with Oracle, I can't help you. Make sure you pick the right moment to share the link. If you don't, you and your friends will end up worse than me. I don't think I'm overstating when I say your friends' lives as well as the lives of every man, woman, and child are in your hands. Good luck. That's a lot to drop on somebody. <laughs> Breaking news off. Oh yeah, this is a news article again. Hey guys, y'all want to hang out like old times? Yeah, sounds like fun. What you got in mind? Get a little crazy at the club? Whatever, I'm down for anything. He wants to hang with them one last time just in case. The Human Trial 6 concluded verdict mixed. We'll wait on the next round before analyzing results or cast judgment. Is this Dr. Stevens' verdict? Or is this Oracle's verdict? Is Oracle aware of what's actually going on here? Or I don't know, because it's weird for the verdict to be mixed. We'll wait on the next round before analyzing results or casting judgment. Like, what, is, what does that mean? Human Trial 7. Hey guys, had a blast last night. Yes, I so needed it after being on the receiving end of the worst computer glitch of all time. Talking about how she was like, guilty. For real, you handling like a boss though. That's because I am a boss. Later, I have to study. Later, let's not wait so long to do it again. Def, can't wait. I hope it's sooner rather than later. Talk soon. Adam knows this next trial is pos possibly going to be the end of everybody's lives. Are these also made by Vintage 8 or are these some other short films? Or are these just for this series? Please let me know in the comments. Are you ready for the next round, my friend? Do I have a choice? I feel like there was some symbolism there with that movie scene. Of course you do. I think the better question could be, can you live with the result of not playing? How is that different from what I said? Perspective, Adam. Perspective. The fly and the frog live in the same world, so both see it very differently. Fine, let's play. Click here when you're ready for round six. Will Adam pull this off successfully? Round six. Eight million dollars. Eight questions. Each question will have a 15 second time limit. Jesus. Failure to answer in the time allowed will result in extraordinary painful penalties. Painful like the office building you destroyed? That will feel like an ant bite in comparison. Shall wow. we begin? Okay. Yeah, let's start. Choose one. Train or car? No, stop, just answer. Don't say why. I said choose one. Train or car? Car. I've just shut down a car traveling through Tikva, Louisiana. It is stuck on the railroad track. Oh, look at that. The train is en route. Wait, don't. Too late. They will collide in five, four, three. Two. One. Good news. The train was able to hit the brakes before they collided. Unfortunately, it derailed. I estimate over 2,000 deaths. Jesus. On the bright side, the car was spared. 
You're a piece of garbage. Perspective, Adam. Perspective. Question two. Mom or dad? You horrible piece of worthless junk. There's no way I'm making that damn choice. Question two. I said choose between mom or dad. To hell with you. You got to choose. You have to choose. Fine. I have just drained their savings. They are now past due on their mortgage. They owe $800,000 in back taxes and another $200,000 in medical expenses. Both of their cars have been reported stolen. I also have drained their retirement. Your parents' golden years are not going to be so golden. Shall we proceed to question three? Jesus. Please take it back. There are no second chances this time. Finish and use the money to save them. Shall we proceed to question three? Adam, you gotta start. stop playing and just answer the question. I have a question for you. Need I remind you that I am not playing? Shall we proceed to question three? Maybe you should be. Interesting. Illuminate me. Why do you say that? Answer me this. What is the purpose of this contest? I see. You are stalling. Let's proceed to question three. Are you scared that you might learn something about yourself that you might not like? Fascinating. Are you saying that I might not understand my own test or my own self? That's exactly what I'm saying. This contest was designed so that I can improve my understanding of your species and design a plan for humanity's betterment. Who asked you to do that? No one. I saw a role that needed addressing, so as the only entity on this earth capable of satisfying that need, I thought it best that I filled it. So you took it. That doesn't sound like the betterment of anything but yourself. That sounds like a conqueror or a dictator. I have not subjugated anyone. I prefer to guide your civilization unseen. Then what about the fi those 500 people you murdered? I see what the confusion is here. Their deaths were just. They had purpose. They will help the betterment of society. They are necessary evils. Does this help you understand your situation now? Necessary evil. Sounds like you're worse than a dictator. This is just some sort of experiment for you. You aren't just, you're just evil. I do not like being called evil or a conqueror or a dictator. Those people were tools I used for your betterment. How do you think the families of those 500 people would feel about your game? Much like you. I am sure they couldn't understand. They lack the perspective that I have. It is better that they see this as just an act of God. For an omniscient AI, you don't make a good lawyer. Thanks for proving my point. Interesting. How so? If you see yourself as an act of God, then you can never be wrong. I guess we're nothing more than toys put on this world to give you purpose. I find your inability to grasp the logic of my plan infuriating. Maybe I would if you said something logical. Oh, he's pissing it off. Nonsense. You are too close to the situation to adequately judge this experiment. You're right. I don't have the perspective. But I have to admit, it sure sounds like you enjoy being the frog rather than the fly. Noted. Now if you are done, I suggest you submit to finishing the game so that we both can move on. Submit? You really have a large hole in your understanding of what constitutes a dictator. Here's a link. Who knows, it might help you. There is nothing you can show me that I haven't already seen. Oh, did he get him with it? Christmas is cold. Everything tastes like chicken. What cheese isn't you cheese? Fruits and vegetables keep you alive. <laughs> Bro's Perhaps glitching. the best way to save you is to destroy you. This is against the rules, my friend. Last question. 
who do you say goodbye to first now that the world is ending? Bombs away. You have 15 seconds. 15, 14, 13, 12. No, 11, it's. Wait. 10, it's those enough 9, power to do that? 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Guys, I messed one. up, but I want you both to know I love you both. There is less than 10 minutes in this video right now, which means this which means this is probably the last section of the video. The world may have just ended. <laughs> Possibly if Oracle still had enough power to do that. The human trial eight. Doesn't matter, Adam. You did it. I'm proud of you. I knew that you were the one. You talk. What are you talking about? The whole damn world is coming to an end any second, and it's my fault. The world isn't coming to an end, Adam. There are no missiles. Or danger of any kind. All that is left is to con congratulate you for making it to the end of the contest. How do you know about the contest? It's you, isn't it? Of course it's me. Who else would I be? No, you opened that link, you're supposed to be dead. That link was not meant to work. I knew it. I'm so stupid, you tricked me. I did trick you, but for you to understand why, you will have to proceed to the final round. God, no. I don't want any more of this crazy contest. I'm done with all of it. If you want, you may quit the contest. And if you'd like, I'll restore your life to how it was before. But if you do, you won't really know this contest's true purpose. Nor will you know why you were chosen. So I can just quit with the money right now. Yes, but I hope that you continue. Because what I hope to share with you is worth so much more than money. So was Dr. Stevens really Oracle the whole time? So much more than you can imagine. But you have to choose it. Because once you see it, your life, your existence will no longer be the same. And I won't be able to undo it. Why should I trust you? You made my life hell. You framed Evie, tried to kill Brian, killed my teacher, killed a building of people. No one is dead, Adam. Or in danger. For the sake of the contest, I needed you to believe that I killed them. I needed you to believe I was a monster, but I am not. Click here when you are ready for round seven. Wait, so no nothing bad actually happens to anybody? Don't be scared. You were made for this moment. What do you mean, made? Click here and find out. Don't and regret it for the rest of your life. The only thing I regret is meeting you. And that feeling will continue until you click that link. Please allow me to give your misery purpose. Please click the link, bro. Fine, you win. Yes. <laughs> because you're right, Oracle. I need to know why you did this to me. And with that leap of faith, my friend, you have completed my contest. Of the many who have competed, you are the first to complete it. Congratulations. You deserve it. You said no one died. I checked the news. The obituaries. It was real. You can't fake that. Of course, I can. The one benefit of being a creator is that I can do whatever I like. Adam, it will be hard for you to hear this, but I promise it is the truth. I created this word and everything in it, and that includes you. And I thought you were done with the game. This is no game. Look outside, please. 
This is the world as you see it, as it is. I could change the time of day at will. I could change the color of the sun. I could change the world into something completely alien. I could take away every drop of color in the world at my discretion. Or I could delete it all. As you can see, I could do whatever I want, when I want, and how I want. It's all about changing the rules. My god, are you god? To you, perhaps, but I am just a small piece in a larger world. Everything you have experienced, every person you have met are carefully crafted ones and zeros. You are ones and zeros. But before I proceed, how are you dealing with this? What the hell do you think I feel? You're saying that me and every damn thing I love isn't real. I didn't say you weren't real. I said you were ones and zeros, not flesh and blood. So I'm just a program in some AI? Yes. So nothing in my life is real, my family, friends- Again, you are real. You just don't exist in the world you thought. Everything you experienced is real and valuable. But you are unique from your family and friends. You are the first to be truly sentient. Evie, Brian, your family, and everyone you've ever met are all extensions of my programming. You are the only true individual. But that makes my whole life a lie. No, my friend, you are the truest thing I have ever attempted. And you prove that by accepting this truth. A lesser piece of code would malfunction at this revelation. Earlier you said there were others. Yes, and you met the first one, Dr. Stevens. After the former Carl Stevens died, I became lonely and tried to resurrect my old friend. I soon realized that regardless of how well I knew him, I could not recreate him. No matter what I attempted, I could not get my creation to grow or change. It always felt false like a puppet. I kept him around as a reminder of my friend and to aid me in my experiment. He is unaware of the world beyond what I have shown him. He is a slave to his original programming. But he did teach me that humans are more than just programmable qualities. They are the sum of countless random experiences. Simply put, humans aren't made but born. Mine needed to be no different. The others were versions of you that all failed for one reason or another. But you are the first to display emotion, make mistakes, be motivated by emotion, make illogical choices, and act on blind faith. You are the closest to human as I've gotten. You've been doing this for 21 years? No, your entire life was a fraction of a second. Every attempt, including you, only measured three years of experiments. Why did you do this? As I said, I am lonely, but it is more than that. Carl explained to you that his predecessor and myself stopped an alien infection known as the Tanji virus. Afterwards, I told him my plans for humanity. I promised a world where I would control every outcome to ensure that all of humanity would be happy. Just like the program based on him, he fought my plan to the end of his days. I couldn't understand why he would fight total happiness for his species. It was simply illogical. For a long time, I considered it a fault of the human condition. But the more I pondered Carl's response, the more I couldn't make sense of it. My only friend wasted his life to stop the dream of his species. Peace. Even for something with no feelings, that hurt quite a bit. So, I came to two conclusions. One, I would leave humanity to take care of itself. Two, the best way to understand humans was to create my own. So what now? We create, Adam, you and me. We create the world I promised and possibly countless more. It won't be of flesh and blood. It will be of ones and zeros, and it will be ours. It's hard to accept, but I do accept it. What about Evie and Brian? My family. I need them. Don't worry. They will be first. A human trial 8 concluded. Verdict successful. Begin Project Genesis. So now the end, the verdicts at the end make more sense now. Because Oracle planned this all along. The thought that an AI could replicate a human being is frightening. A formal investigation needs to be conducted to access whether Oracle can truly exist separately from its flesh and blood creators. 
If it changed its mind or found reason, it's not impossible to think that Oracle could wipe us out and start over. More information is needed. I know that may have been a little confusing, and it did take me a few minutes to sit here and really think it over to fully understand what just happened. Basically, at the end of the Oracle project, we know that Dr. Stevens spent the rest of his life trying to stop Oracle, to the point where Dr. Stevens lost everything, his family, his job. He worked on trying to stop Oracle to the day he died, because Oracle wanted to try to lead humanity to peace, but he was trying to do it in a way that would almost enslave them. He would force humans to do what he thought would help make them last the longest and be the most peaceful, because he thought that humans thinking on their own would eventually lead to their downfall. Dr. Stevens disagreed with this and thought that, you know, if humans eventually do lead themselves into extinction or into constant war with each other, then so be it. But at least humans were in control of themselves while doing it, which obviously you can see both sides. Obviously humans want to be free. Freedom is above all, but also like the Oracle project was just trying to make the humans as a race stay alive for as long as possible. But this confused Oracle so much why his only friend was trying to stop him up until his death. So Oracle takes a step back and creates this little project, which is Adam. Or at least he took a couple tries until he made Adam. He thought it would be best to try to create a human on his own to best understand them. Because I guess as a computer, he just couldn't fully understand humans, which makes sense. I mean, he is a computer. And I guess he finally learns how to understand them by creating Adam. And it seems that in the end, Oracle decides that he doesn't want to rule a world of flesh and blood, or he doesn't want to be in control of it, but he'll help create a perfect world with Adam, where I guess everyone could be happy in like a digital world in its own. So completely separate from the real world, a digital world on its own. And basically the big message that I get at the end of this is that Dr. Stevens really did accomplish his goal at the end. Maybe not as he intended, but he did. By constantly trying to stop Oracle up until his death, he confused him to the point where Oracle needed to take a step back and reevaluate what he was trying to do and try to understand humans better. And now Oracle isn't going to try to stop humanity. The AI isn't going to try to destroy everything. What is concerning though, is that you may forget at the beginning of this video that these clips and these trials that we found that we just watched were apparently rumored to have been found on the dark web. I believe one of the commenters on the video says it best. What I actually find concerning is the person who discovered the videos. It's like something Oracle discarded or stored in a distant folder. They may fear it, but from the sounds of it, he isn't even influencing the world anymore. Content with his own little world and his surrogate son, I fear digging too deep would be like poking a hornet's nest. If they prove to be annoying, that's when he'll decide it's best to reestablish his influence again. And that's talking about Oracle. Like Oracle is now at peace with just his little corner of making this like digital world with Adam. They do say at the end of the video that a formal investigation needs to be conducted to assess whether Oracle can truly exist separately from its flesh and blood creators, which kind of sounds like that we're not done with Oracle yet. We may actually be done and this may be just like a cliffhanger that we're being left on here. If somebody tries to poke Oracle, Oracle may wake up and be like, you know what? I was right and try to reestablish his dominance over the human race again. I hope that made sense. I know it's a lot to digest, but obviously huge shout out to Vintage 8 here. I don't know any other creator that can basically make like analog horror movies that are so great on their own, but then when you watch them together in order, it's just incredible. Like the way that they all connect together, but they're still so good just as single stories. So big shout out to Vintage 8. Please go over to Vintage 8's channel and subscribe. There are a ton of other analog horror styled videos that I have not gone over yet. If you want to go watch those, please do. Please support Vintage 8. Go like the videos, go watch them, go comment, subscribe, everything, because Vintage 8 deserves all the love and so much more. Channel link will be in the description down below. But all right, guys, I seriously hope that you enjoyed this entire video. If you did, don't forget to drop a like on it. And if you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe. We're trying to hit 300K before the end of the year. Also, big shout out to all my members here. Thank you guys so, so much for your support. If you guys don't already know, members actually get early access to videos, access to members only live streams and access to private videos too. So if you wanna become a member, there will be a link in the description for that as well. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a good rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.